100,000 Americans die each year because of prescription drug use. That's 270 per day and twice as many as people who are killed in a car accident. I think prescription drug abuse has gotten way out of hand in the past couple of years. Um, I have experience from that. I have went to a rehab and for prescription drug abuse and I feel like I started doing them because I wanted to fit in with people and especially my sister. She started doing drugs at a younger age than me and I wanted to fit in with her and be just like her, you know, because she's my older sister. It's really sad because a lot of kids these days are overdosing or they get prescribed them because they're in serious pain and they start taking them and they get addicted. And when a doctor prescribes these drugs, they don't understand that, like, they, the more that they're taking, the more their tolerance goes up. So when they want to get off them, their withdrawal is very hard. I feel that the doctors need to learn more about this because it's been a huge problem in the past couple of years. We have a huge epidemic right now of prescription painkillers and drugs and heroin. People on painkillers, they think that they don't have a problem because they prescribe them, but they don't know that the more that they're just taking them, the more they're just getting addicted and it's just making it worse for themselves. In 1998, 2.2% of people were seeking treatment for prescription drugs, and its whole in 2008, it went to 10%. So each year, more kids are just going into rehabs and mainly for prescription drug abuse. When I went into rehab, my experience, uh, most of the kids were in there for prescription drug abuse. And nowadays, kids are just taking them like candy. Uh, my experience was pretty hard. Like, it's hard to tell your parents that you have a problem. And just me telling my mom and look on her face, you know, it was really hard. For me, thank God, I got help and I now see completely things clear now. And I now want to become an like, addiction counselor or something in that field because I love helping people because I can feel what they're going through. Thank God it worked for me. And... Unfortunately, I have an example. The other day, uh, somebody that I used to know pretty well, they overdosed on heroin. He was 17 years old. And it's just really sad that, you know, and he started doing prescription drugs because he got into a motorcycle accident and got prescribed some painkiller and started doing harder painkillers. And now he, then he started shooting up heroin. And it's really sad because he was 17 years old. Kids nowadays don't understand the risk that they're really taking when they try these just takes one try of a drug and you're hooked on it certain people just like the kid that that passed away another example my sister uh, the person that I wanted to be like she started doing drugs at a very young age and I got help before her and then she finally got help on her own my parents made her go to rehabs before and she finally wanted to get help she's now doing good she has eight months clean and she's living in Florida in a halfway house it just shows that, you know, you have to want to get help to be clean. The epidemic nowadays is crazy. I feel like the, some doctors, they're quacks, and you can just go there and they'll prescribe you anything if you pay them cash. That's against the law. I just think that people nowadays need to be, you know, more on top of this, especially the cops and everything. Like, it's pretty sad. You know, I heard the other day a 20-year-old girl overdosed on heroin, too, around here, and... It's just honestly really upsetting, and I feel like we need to do something more about it. No one thinks that prescription drug abuse is that bad if they get prescribed them, and you know. And I just think that it is bad, no matter what the circumstances are. If you do get prescribed them, I think that they have to start winding you off of them, and it's usually not the case. They usually just give you more and more and more, and you get completely addicted to it, and then you're an addiction. And a lot of people don't think that they have a problem because they get it, you know. And I just think that. I think that a lot of people need to, you know, start getting more into research about this because it's pretty crazy to me. That kid that passed away, you know, I hope that opens a lot of people's eyes is because he was so young and he had such a good future, you know, he was an honor student, he was going into the military, and it's really upsetting, you know, one time and you're dead. And it's just crazy how that person tried to probably a painkiller when he was younger and then now he's gone because he just tried and made one mistake. And he, I hope that he got, he would have got help, you know, and people could have talked to him about it and he could have got help for it. It's really upsetting. So I just want everybody to know about the prediction and if you can just get help and it would be a lot better. Thanks guys.